Hello Lincolns Online, uh, it's me Lincoln Town Car Guy again. Uh, I want to thank everyone that helped me before on the videos for my check engine light. It's a nice cool day out here finally in California. So I figured I'd go ahead and fix that problem if you noticed in my videos, that blendy door actuator. So here's what I'm doing right now or how far I've gotten. Um, since there's a tech write up, but there isn't a video about how to do it step by step. So I figured I want to try to do that. Um, so if anyone else that has this problem, uh, we can go ahead and uh, do it together, at least through my help with the video. Uh, I have a 1994 Lincoln Town car, and uh, of course you get that horrible clicking sound. But anyways, this is the trim underneath the steering column. There is three bolts that you have to get to. Right here you can see, and then underneath there's two. So what I went ahead and you're going to need to do is on your dashboard you have a trim. If you come closer, you see right here that there's this trim you can remove and then over there there's a larger piece of trim that goes in between the defroster and the gas fuel door. You pull that trim off very carefully with a, a screwdriver, a flathead, it pops off, just go underneath and, and, and pull forward. And then what you go ahead and do is once you do that you'll be able to see these gold looking bolts. There's two on this side, on the driver's side, and one on the passenger, or at least on the other side of the steering wheel. You're going to go ahead and unbolt those, then you're going to go ahead underneath and unbolt the two which is down below. It should be along where the gas pedal is and the brake pedal. Once you go ahead and do that, there's also a side paneling over here by your hood release. Around your hood release is this little plastic part here that goes along the back side of it. It's, there's no screws required, you just you know gently pull it up you know, until you get it out. Then after that, there should be one screw for this. This is, your, this is where my hood release was. There's one screw right here you can see, and then there's one screw on the bottom. Now on the bottom, where your door is, where the trim is for the, uh, the panel here, you can see I'm going to put it back for you. There's uh, supposed to be one screw, but I guess the guy who owned it before put two screws in here, so just drilled it in there, not too smart. But anyways, I went and took those two off. Then once you get that, this little flat part here, step part off, underneath is three screws. You don't really have to take all three off, you can take two, but I took all the three off so I didn't want to break anything. Three screws, pull it up. Then along the door here, there is this trim right here. Very simple. This trim, you can go ahead and just pull it all off. There's nothing bolting it in. But in order to get that off, you have to uh, unscrew this. And this first screw also holds, holds in um, this guy here. See how on the bottom? So once I pull that off, you can pull the whole thing off at least once that screw is out. So two screws. So once this is out, the floor trim piece, the first screw is out, you can go ahead and pull this off. But you're going to need to have room to pull this up to get this off because it fits in a little slot. And then on the top here on the dash, I went ahead and pulled the plastic. It's all plastic on the front or where the defroster is because you're going to need to get to all these bolts up on top of the window sill here. I think there's like uh, six, six of them it looks like, six or seven of them, I don't know. I have I printed out the tech write up on the web page uh, on how to do it step by step, but it's always nice to have a video. So now on the uh, we're going to go on the opposite side of the car, the passenger side. Here on the top of my car, I went ahead and uh, put all the, the pieces here, the dash, and up there for the, uh, the frother piece, plastic piece. Going on the other side of the car here is the same exact steps in which we did on the driver's side. Uh, I took off the bottom foot foot plate down here, and then you pull this up, three screws, then you can pull this whole trim along the door down. Now in here, the same thing happens with this. I leave all the screws in everything so I don't forget about them and I know exactly where to go. I put a few of the screws in my cup holder, these are the big gold bolts, but uh, underneath the, underneath these um, glove compartment is this part here. Is your, uh, I guess, uh, the part that covers all the wiring and everything underneath the, uh, the glove compartment up in the back over here. There is, there is four little uh, pop-in screw things. They're plastic. You got to be careful not to damage them. But one of them is one that you actually have to push in into a screw that is going to stick out at the bottom. And don't forget when you pull that down, there is a light that goes in there. Don't pull down too far. But anyways, I'm going to do another video here where I'm going to continue to go further into taking this dash down. 
Also on the steering column, the plastic that goes around your key switch and your shifter, all that needs to come off. There's three screws on the bottom that get it off. Uh, I didn't take the plastic off yet, but I got the screws underneath, so while you're down there, take those off too. My next step, at least it says in the paper, is that when you take you take your uh, glove compartment here, there's a little thing here, there's two little things that hold this in, push them in, and you should be able to get to these bolts underneath here, which we're going to need to get to take this uh, this dash down. So thanks a lot, guys. So I'm going to probably make at least three or four videos here of, of each step that I'm doing. So I hope this will help someone else out like it's helped me. And uh, once again, thanks a lot. And uh, hope you can watch the rest. Good luck.